there, it floats. Rose Muse calls her story a journey back to our roots, the maiden voyage of my handcrafted birch bark canoe. She launched that canoe today with her brother and paddled it up Bear River to the reserve where she grew up. She says building her first traditional birch bark canoe was an amazing experience. I believe it's probably close to, if not over 100 years, that we've had a band member building a canoe in our community. And I'm not sure if there's ever been a woman building in our community. Muse says she had lots of great advice on her boat, some coming from Todd Labrador at the nearby Wildcat Reserve. Muse helped him build several of his birch bark canoes. She describes her new boat as a spiritual vessel that was traveling a historic route for her people. This here was the 101. <laughs> you know, this is how we got back and forth and we needed, you know, if we wanted to go hunt and fish, this is where we would go down this, this Osutkuk River and go out to the ocean to get our porpoise or whatever it may be. I've even heard that they went right over to New Brunswick. Building a birch bark canoe is not easy. Cedar ribs had to be found for the boat's elaborate rib system and birch bark and spruce roots were also used. Launching the canoe today brought special meaning to Muse, who was glad to see a good turnout to the ceremony. Her family is very proud of what she has accomplished. That's something that you don't see too often. You'd like to see more to do it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm quite proud of her. She's done so much over her years with the language and, and cultural teachings, and this is like an amazing, amazing project that she's doing. The Canoe Project was supported by the Canada Council for the Arts. The canoe launch was time to kick off the annual harvester's ceremony in the community. As Muse paddled up the river today, she saw an eagle soaring high above the river. Paul Pometer, CBC News, Osikuk First Nation in Bear River.